In this video, I've compiled 10 of my favorite fitness games and applications available for the MetaQuest 2. Let's just start from the bottom. Number 10, Synth Riders. Now, if you're someone who's just starting out to fitness, I would recommend checking out Synth Riders. It's low impact, it gets your body moving, and it gets your heart rate up. Now, if you're somebody who's been working out for a while, Synth Riders may not work for you as a fitness game. However, it's still a lot of fun. So check out Synth Riders if you like cyberpunk music and want to dance to it. Number nine, Beat Saber. We're playing Beat Saber. That's right. Why is it so low on my list? Well, Beat Saber is actually not a fitness game. It's a fun rhythm-based game that helps you get fit along the way. Fitness is secondary to the game itself. And while Beat Saber is a fun game to play and will challenge your reaction time and rhythm, it's low tier on my fitness list. I know, go ahead 14 year old boys, flame me in the comments. <laughs> You'll just get muted. Number eight, Holofit. Say, do you own a VR headset? And do you also own a bike, rowing machine, or elliptical? Well, have I got the game for you. Holofit is an incredible addition to your home gym. You strap on your headset, you throw a cadence sensor on your bike, or you just hook up to your Bluetooth, and boom, you are transported to another world. No, literally, you're going to another world in this game. It's got collectibles, it's got fun game mechanics, and it's even got training programs so you can get better at biking, rowing, or ellipticaling. I don't know what it's called. Love this game. I play it like three times a week, no joke. Number seven, VR it. Vrit. Ver, ver, oh. I'll never get this name right. It's likely you've never heard of VR yet. It's on the App Lab portion of the store. If you don't know what App Lab is, it's like the bargain bin of VR games. You know, the same place you find like FIFA 08 and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like that, but in the VR world. VR it does an amazing job of incorporating push-ups, burpees, squats, and lunges into a fun story-based game. It's a little rough around the edges, but all in all, it's a lot of fun and it gets you working out hard. You didn't think you could do push-ups in VR, did you? Think again, dude. Number six, FitXR. Oh, I'm sure you've seen me talk about this in the past. In fact, I did a video for MetaQuest 2 about this in January. And FitXR is a great entry into boxing and high intensity interval training. They also have some dance as well, but the meat and potatoes of this game is boxing and hit. It has you moving in ways that you didn't think you could move in VR, and it gets very creative along the way. Sure, the music isn't great, and sure, the trainers are kind of like old PlayStation 2 characters, but when you get down to the core mechanics of what's actually being done in the game, it's a really good fitness application that's going to get you drenched in sweat and breathing like an obscene phone call. <sighs> Number five, Pistol Whip. <laughs> This was the first game I ever bought on the Quest 2, back in the olden days when it was called the Oculus Quest 2. Not only is it a fun, immersive experience that has you feeling like Neo from the Matrix, it has you doing like 6 million squats without even realizing it. Squats, lunges, hip hinges, you name it, and pistol whip, you're going to be doing it. Also, you're going to be shooting people and smashing them upside the head with your pistol. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? Number 4, Audio Trip. Now. Audio Trip is high on my list of fitness games because not only does it have a dance mode where you can challenge yourself to the rhythm like Synth Riders, but it also has a fitness specific mode called Cardio. And in my opinion, the cardio is where it's at. Think of like a Zumba class that you're actually going to be good at without all the salsa music and in environments that are ever changing. It's a brilliant, artistically done fitness experience. They add songs, slowly, but surely. And they even have a Discord where people upload custom songs, just like in Beat Saber and Synth Riders. I forgot to mention that earlier. Hands down, Audio Trip is my favorite rhythm fitness game, and I will yell that from every mountaintop until it is heard. Audio Trip, I just like it a lot. Number three. Oh, now we're getting into the real deal. Thrill of the fight. The thrill of the fight. <laughs> I don't think I can go a single video without someone saying, Yeah, but what about the thrill of the fight? Because they didn't see that I already made a video on the thrill of the fight. Now, Thrill of the Fight is a hardcore fitness experience. This is going to remind you of your own mortality. You're going to be gasping for breath no matter what your fitness level is. You're going to be lacing up your gloves and testing your steel against Ugly Joe, sparring partner, 
Spider Guy, and others. But don't you worry. What it's lacking in polish, it makes up for in pure insane fitness. Word to the warning, don't get this game unless you want the hardest of hardcore fitness experiences. It's your warning, I'm warning you. Number two, Supernatural. Yeah, 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 you saw the billboard, you saw Leanne in Times Square, you see these people everywhere, but what is Supernatural? In short, Supernatural is the premier fitness application on the Quest 2. In long, Supernatural is an immersive fitness experience with boxing, what they call the flow workout, yoga inspired stretching, and meditation. They have guest coaches, it's updated daily, and the coaches are fun, motivating, and couldn't be better at getting you into the workout. The reason this is number two and not number one is because there is a lot of complaints that it is a financial investment, if you will. They do charge a subscription to use this. The subscription is about $20 a month or $100 per year. However, if you don't mind paying a monthly subscription fee, I recommend checking out Supernatural. You'll be having fun and getting fit at the same time. Last but not least, and yes, these were in order. My number one pick for the best fitness game of 2022 is... Les Mills Body Combat. Now, this is a game that has just been released, and in my opinion, it's the best all-around fitness experience that you can get on the Quest 2. Why, you're asking? Number one, they have amazing motivating coaches. Number two, the game itself is a challenge and it gets you working hard, like thrill of the fight hard. Number three, it's not subscription based. And number four, it's got trusted scientific based workouts that actually make sense. You're not just flailing your arms around, hoping that your heart rate magically climbs. You're getting a fitness experience that's been created by Coaches that know what they're talking about. When you play this game, the coaches are going to be all up in your ear about what is happening to your body. And as someone who loves playing this game and has a background in fitness, I can tell you that everything they're telling you is correct. At no point am I ever going, well, actually... No, these guys are the real deal. And if you're looking for fun, real fitness, look no further than Les Mills Body Combat. And it's available now on the Quest 2. So what do you think about my top 10 list? Did I miss anything? Is there something that you wish was on here? And don't you dare say Power Beats VR. <laughs> you know how I feel about that game. Oof, I don't know why that happens. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, well, hit the like button. And if you didn't like this video, guess what? YouTube doesn't let, let you really do that much anymore, so. My name is Ari with FitProVR, and don't forget to get your workout in today.